Gemuan dia gemuan dia hmm. Good morning everybody So this morning I decided I want to go ahead And let y'all see a lot more Of my hustle mentality My hustle life You know what I'm saying Y'all always see me doing a whole bunch of stuff It don't matter If it make money I'ma do it So my homeboy out of town Till Monday It's gonna be day two and I'm walking his dogs. I gotta ride the bus. I don't feel like paying for Uber and all that. But I'm riding the bus all the way to his crib, an hour and 15 minutes away, just to go walk his two dogs. It's $200. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Just to feed them, whatever. I can chill out over there. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I got some things I gotta take care of. Some of my other things aren't really working out in my favor right now. So what you have to realize is when one thing isn't working, you have to find another. I'll walk your dog. I'll wash your car. I'll clean some shoes. It come down to stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, when you got a hustle mentality, ain't nothing gonna stop you from getting what you gotta get. Ain't no excuses for none of that. It's a mentality, it's a lifestyle. It's not something, oh, I'm a hustler because I sell weed. Like, no. Selling drugs. Selling drugs doesn't make you a hustler. What makes you a hustler is basically you hustling for what you need and not stopping until you get it. Answer. See, a hustle mentality doesn't have to be wrapped around negativity. Oh, you a hustler, ain't you? Yes, I am. I'm definitely a hustler. Got my clippers on my back. I'm ready for the day. It's early as hell. He an hour away. Meaning I don't have to come back to my side right now. I can stay on his side of town if I wanted to. That just means I get to get more clientele, different clientele. I can cut over in that area. So at the end of the day, I'm hustling regardless. Yeah, I say to him, man. It's gonna be a long ass day. I ain't gonna lie, I already, I feel it. Yesterday was, I just be walking all this shit and whatnot, whatever. But, this shit right here. Whoo, I thought that was the bus I was trying to get on. I was like, no, come back! Damn. I be walking my ass off. I ain't even started sweating yet. Like I said, it's H-Town right here, baby. You know it's gonna get hot. You know it's about to get hot then a bitch. But I'm not tripping, though. That's just more reason for me to take my shirt off. I'm not tripping. Dead ass. So I walk everywhere. It don't matter where I'm at, I will walk. I will definitely walk. Lovely bus stop. Yeah, I'm fucking thirsty as fuck. I really fuck with that shit. Get a shit. Guys, y'all can see the sky right now. Most likely gonna rain today. I'm not tripping. As long as I can get in the Uber, as long as I can get in the car, as long as I can get in a bus or train, it doesn't matter. I can make it to where I gotta go. So it really don't fucking matter to me. Um, as y'all can see my other pages, the rain never stopped what the fuck I'm doing. The snow never stopped what the fuck I'm doing. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm literally walking. I'm walking the rest of the way. My legs, ain't nothing wrong with my fucking legs. People be acting like there's shit wrong with their fucking legs. There's nothing wrong with your legs. Get out there. Do what you gotta do. Someone just told me yesterday, actually. It was yesterday. 
they told me, oh, I'm a little too bougie to get on the bus. My nigga, what? How are you bougie, too bougie to get on the bus, but you don't have a job, you don't have a car, you don't have a scooter, you don't have anything for transportation. But you wanna hang out, you wanna do all these things, you want people to pick you up, you want people to pay for your ride. People aren't always gonna do that. You gotta make a way your own damn self. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make the money to get your own Uber. Or you could put your legs to work. Or you could put your legs to work and stop being fucking lazy. This nigga couldn't let me fucking go. There's no reason why your ass should be acting fucking lazy and shit. There's no reason why you should be too quote unquote bougie for the bus. Any transportation, how you think? There's no reason for that because when you become bougie. People start to look at you in a different way. When you humble yourself, it's it opens a lot of doors. You know what I'm saying? It really opens a lot of doors. We you humble yourself. Now, when you're all cocky and you, oh no, I'm too bougie for this. I dress too nice to get on this. Okay, cool. The bus never stopped me from dressing nice. I don't give a fuck. If I gotta get somewhere, I'm gonna get there. I ain't finna let my feelings of how somebody looks at me a certain type of way make me stop my fucking path. Makes no sense. She still ain't winning. She was bad, man. I'm ah. talking to y'all and shit. I showed shit a couple stuff. Got a number or something like that, but it is what it is. Think more fishing to see. But yeah, so when I when I say when I say to humble yourself, really damn humble yourself because at the end of the day, people see that and they're just like, okay, I don't want to support this cocky ass nigga or this this bougie ass bitch like no people really don't fuck with shit like that like you may think it's cute to be bougie cute to be this cute to be that but at the end of the day that creates envy jealousy all these other things now don't get me wrong when you're humble you're definitely still gonna have people envying you and being jealous of you and things like that you want them to be jealous and envious for the right reasons I don't know if that makes sense, but you get it though.